Greetings from Haiti. Let's check in with Randolph Wicker, who is at the Artisan's Village and the Artisan's Market Crossway. Hey, Randy, how's Haiti today? Haiti is, is plugged into my I can't resist the bargain. <laughs> I have, I spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars because they had original paintings like this of a, of a man and a woman, and the third face is left to your imagination, supposedly male. So to me, this is a transgender a painting. And uh, things I bought for a friend. This is the Virgin Mary praying. You know, that was, I don't know what that was, 15 or 20, but it was incredible the prices they gave. I wanted to support the people of Haiti, and I Correct. spent a lot of money. The thing is, I was here earlier and I walked away. They remembered me from my hat, so when I came back, they, they, some of them tried to intimidate me. You took pictures of my stall in the morning. Now you yes. had attended some seminars, yes. correct, prior to yes. arriving yes. and buying all of this stuff. Yes. And that was something that was really pointed out. When you shop here at the Artisan's Village, you truly are supporting Haiti, correct? Right. Now what's going and on? Also, with also, like on the other place, when I look like I was a newcomer, they start quoting me outrageous prices. They'll say something, this is 40 or $60, because you know, for some people, 40 or $60 is nothing. She said, don't be offended at that, because I found since I didn't want to buy, I was resisting buying, I'd walk away, and then it would drop from 40 to, to 30, and then I'd walk a little bit further, they'd say 20. And then if I was a little further, they'd even say, and I asked price 15, one point, guy would drop down to 10, I gave him 10, and he said, you owe me two more dollars. I mean, but generally, I mean, it, I, I used to deal in flea markets and bargaining, so I know how it works. Now, let's and talk I had two wallets with very little money, and in the morning, I only had $25 total. Now, let's talk about this market, the artisan's market, as compared to the artisan's village. What's the difference between these two markets well, here in Haiti? Well, the, the person on the boat told us to check out prices here to see what they really sell for and then go there so you know when they're trying to yeah. charge you $60 or something. Could you also maybe be able to find something cheaper here if you're buying two or three, the price actually, may fluctuate. Actually, actually, I found, I haven't even looked through this, I didn't even go in here because it was so mobbed with just, it just hit me like just a store and I didn't see anything I really liked. Well, well let's take, well you haven't gone in yet, so let's show a quick glimpse of it. It's booths set up, but this is an indoor market and everything will have price tags on it. So it is a little bit more specific as far as a price point and is I, concerned. I can tell you after I, I put this in my bag, I'll go through here and uh, I'll tell you what I think after I've spent all this money. I know, like, you know, one man, one man sold me five, five painted magnets, five for five dollars, a dollar a piece. And when I got through with it, I said, I gave him $10, I said $5 is too cheap. Nice. Another man was making a liquidation sale, and uh, I bought a, he came down and bought on the train, called, and I got a Jehovah Witness gift for my friend who's a Jehovah Witness. And uh, then he, uh, uh, one guy said, do you have anything in your bag for me? Nice. And it was the opportunity I'd been waiting for. I said, actually, he was one of the nicer ones. It wasn't so, you know. I said, as a matter of fact, I do. And I took out that radio I've been playing. It has the area broken off. It still plays. And another person, maybe it was the same one. I bought quite a number of things. He gave me very good buys because I've been around enough to know. He was really, and I gave him CBS, CBS 100 proof. I had an extra bottle of it. Some luck. I had, had two or three bottles. I'm, I, I wanted it to be 100. I mean, I have, I used half of a tube of another half of, on this, this thing. It was just it was just an incredible day and what I really did is I love the shop and I love art and I love crafts and the value that you get here for your money. People really should should spend their money here and support the people of Haiti. I really I think it's it's a, the woman that gave the talk, Barbara, was just absolutely exquisite. I mean I just loved her. She said support the people of Haiti. These people, a lot of them are living hand to mouth. And indeed, Haiti is the place to shop. Everything I bought today said Haiti, Haiti, and a little bit more Haiti. Here is a quick glimpse. We're gonna walk you through. Right behind us, it is the Artisan's Village, and you can see for yourself all of the ways to support the people of Haiti. You could do other things while you're here. We're in the port of Labadee, and there's a lot of water activities, but when you're here shopping, you truly are supporting the people of Haiti. And here's the quick glimpse of the Artisan's Village. Enjoy. Catch up with you in a bit, Randy. So when you walk in, there'll be a big sign to know that you're in the Artisan's Village. And you'll see booths to your left. Hello. 
The art that Randolph was talking about is here and it's all outside which is a really great attribute because you're getting to see the artwork in natural light. Now if you've ever had a yard sale and taken your things outside, when you see things out in the sunlight they look quite differently. Now the artisan's market here You'll find a lot of handmade crocheted things, but the great thing is everything you buy is supporting the people of Haiti. You're not going to find your traditional, you know, glow-in-the-dark t-shirt that you can buy in every single country. The things you're buying here are made from folks directly in Haiti. Now, there's been lots of folks who have said it's very, very aggressive and they don't enjoy shopping here. Or they want to shop here, but they find it too aggressive. Now here's my experience today, which was completely different. I walked in every single one of these booths, and I made eye contact with the person as I walked in. And I said, hello, good afternoon. And I said, oh, thank you for inviting me in, because everyone will invite you in to take a look at things. And so I always say, oh yes, thank you for inviting me. This is someone inviting you in to visit their livelihood. What a gift is that? And I always say, good afternoon. I'll even stop for a second to say, how are you today? When you're visiting someone, if you don't live here, who's in another country. And that's a very, very beautiful exchange to just stop and ask someone, how was your day today? Somebody said, my day isn't that good. Somebody else said it was a great day. And those exchanges are indeed priceless. Now Randy mentioned that he was asked, do you have anything for me? I did indeed have the flag of Haiti in my backpack. And I was posing with it at the welcome sign and such. But I gave it to one of the shop owners. Oh, you, you, you play something with Haiti, right? So I gave it to one of the shop owners after I was done with it. I mean, I really wanted to celebrate that I was in Haiti. A lot of things here are tagged Labadee. Um, and then uh, it's somewhat secondary to celebrate Haiti. So I made sure to bring the flag and to buy as much things that I could find with the flag. I don't have a lot of space. I live in a New York City apartment. So things that I could wear that celebrate this beautiful location were ideal for me. And then when you reach the end, of the artisan's market. You have a beautiful beach. Might as well walk you over there. Because they make it quite inviting to want to walk the whole route. And by all means you should. By all means you should. The water here is as inviting as the shop hosts who say come and visit. And I always thank every one of the shop hosts for inviting me and I say thank you, have a nice day and often if there's time I'll say until we meet again because my experience in Haiti here has been so pleasant I do indeed hope to return. That's the story from Labadee, Haiti. Till next time. Vicky's only going to be the one hurt.